I had an argument with my English bank the other day. I still, look, I, considering how much the banks have fucked up our world, I don't understand why they call us and patronize us every now and then. You know, you get that call from your bank and they're like, hey, we noticed your money's in a savings account, but it should really be in a super savings account. <laughs> what do you want to do about that? At which point we're all thinking, put it in a fucking super savings account. <laughs> Why have you called me with this question? <laughs> you're the bank. You're supposed to know what to do with my money. Technically, what you're doing right now is calling me for financial advice. <laughs> when I drop my car off at the mechanics, I say, I don't like say to the guy, like, hey, give me a call in 30 minutes and I'll tell you what's wrong with it. So I'm not even allowed to mention their name on stage anymore, right? So we will now protect their anonymity for this next bit. I will we'll call them uh, Narcles, shall we? So, <laughs> so, so Narcles, Narcles calls me up and they're like, <laughs> like, hey, is this JJ Whitehead? I say, yes, it is. And they go, we want to talk to you about your bank account? I say, go ahead. And then what do they do? Then they go, before we do, can you please prove that you are who you think you are by giving us your password? At which point we're all thinking, y you fucking called me. What? Maybe you need a password. Doesn't work that way, Mr. Whitehead. We need evidence that it's you before we can proceed. Well, did you not call the phone number that JJ Whitehead gave you the call should you ever need to talk to him? I think we can assume this is me. We don't make assumptions, Mr. Whitehead. We, you just called me Mr. Whitehead. There's two of us in this conversation and, and we both seem to think that I'm me. So we could get somewhere. What do you, I was like, what do you think I am? Some sort of criminal mastermind who's gone and stolen J.J. Whitehead's phone and held on to it for months at a time in hopes that eventually maybe his bank will call and then we'll steal his money. Do you know what she said to me at this point? She goes, please calm down, Mr. Whitehead. Please calm down. We're on your side. What if your money was being put towards terrorism? <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. I simply said, really, terrorism? Have you had a look at my bank account? <laughs> I don't know what kind of terrorism you think I'm funding <laughs> on 43 pounds and 17 p. <laughs> I can't even afford to buy these fuckers sandals, let alone <laughs> finance their next terrorist mission. I think you think that's happening somewhere out there in the world tonight? There's like a, a cell of Al-Qaeda gathered in an alleyway, getting ready to carry out a heinous crime. And before they do, the leader stands up and looks them all in the eyes and goes, gentlemen, before we do this evil deed, let's spare a thought for Jason John Whitehead <laughs> for providing us with tonight's Hello Kitty backpacks. <laughs> <laughs>